Ayo Raye, see your rapture proclaimer, evangelical church of God, rapid. This oh, something happened to me. Ah, Shana, where is this? Shall be Thursday. This last week. I wasn't reading Bible. I just sat. I'm doing normal thinking. I, I cannot even remember the actual thing I'm thinking that day. Before I know, I just see that angel beside me. He said for me. Do you see how young ones make slang up and down in television? Even people acting film, superstar, everywhere. I say, what's slang? He say they just say it shanamly, say, go to hell. Some will say, see you in hell. You know they hear them? Oh, sorrow. He say, normal slang. Ah, see you. I see a post on the uh, internet. He say, "Not be me." He say, "She's proud of hell." They wrote it on post and they carry it. Oh, what gone? I see her in by him. So they they say um, uh, some will write the the hair of hell. Now, the hair or the hair of heaven. You know, I do good job on Abi. And what we are going to do, go on one body, hair of hair. They will write it in posters, some will write it in their clothes. They are proud of hell. The angel now come to me, for me. Don't you think that it seems the youth do not know the meaning of hell? I said, maybe they don't know the meaning of hell. Oh. He said, for me, even you yourself, can you divine hell? Ah, I might be wow. How can I divine hell? Imagine if family helps me. I can't divine hell. Say, so yeah, pick your pen, start writing. So, I want to read you what he wrote 24 points for me. Divine hell. Say, so let them know the graffiti of hell. Before they turn into slang and say, go to hell, see you in hell, can they come hell? Ah. He said, if they know what is hell, they will not take it lightly. Even the innocent Christian, worldly Christian, does not fear hell. He said this. He said the, the preacher of those days, they tell member about hell every day. He said the preacher of today don't tell them about hell. They just give, they don't they just mention the name, but the graffiti, the meaning of hell, they don't tell our youth again. That is why fear of hell cannot stop them from committing sin. He said, emphasize on it. Let them know the fear. Let them have the fear of hell. If they don't fear me, tell them to fear my rot. <sighs> Let me read the 20, 24 point he gave me. He now gave me a quotation. Revelation. <laughs> I'm coming. He gave me Revelation 20. He now tell me to read from verse 7 to the end. We are coming back there. But when he want to give me the divination, 
of air he say a city of no exit it is the angel that is talking to me he say tell this youth tell this last day christian body that hell is a land of no return when a man get here is forever number two a city where nothing expire a city where nothing expire I add that there's maggot there Abi maggot will be say under a few days they don't die but the one in air will live forever together with their neighbors you know when woman expire they die animal expire they die but in that place a city where nothing expire and they don't grow old the gravity of the fire increase every day never decrease that means he never go weak nobody get used to the pains do you understand what i mean you know when you have headache regularly say ah well i'm used to it so you don't pass seven years with headache pain me now they manage the work no nobody get used to it it doesn't weak it doesn't grow old it doesn't expire anything you face from the first day will be what you face from eternity can you hear me let me talk to your spirit man please this is not a statement you will hear and you will say may go ahead pause jerry where is god when those uncountable billions go to hell the same god that will help you where is that god when they are going there the god that cannot help others that go to hell same god will not help you more than this he will not help you more than this so listen and listen well number three a city where activities never stop a city where activities never day and night and what activities yeah oh no gnashing of teeth growing in pain cry of pain tears the activity you start from day one we never stop forever it is this angel divining hell for me hmm. for a city where nothing change a city where nothing change a city where nothing change number five listen a city that never and will never adjust their constitution a city that never and will never change their constitution did you hear that that means do you know what that means their constitution is that no exit because this is what i want to say now i have made thought of this before let me confess i say ah, god cannot be wicked now how can somebody that have praised him worship him serve him and now mistakenly go to hell by the time that person will cry and beg him for 100 years or 1000 one day he will pity that person and he will take him away from hell he will not see rory 
you if you never think about this statement before maybe maybe one day he will change his mind maybe when they have spent so many years he will now say okay now you have learned your mistake let me quench the fire or let me stop it i've thought it one day but i go in research from genesis 1 to revelation 22 i never see a statement that showed that not not he will but maybe he will mm -mm. nothing like that so when that angel now told me this last week say eh, a city where a city where they never and will never adjust their constitution ha they never and they will never that in fear grip me and now sit down that i say for me your head no correct all this little little mistake you are making you see see you are still committing and you think god will understand this is other side of the story <laughs> you see a, a city that has never and will never adjust their constitution hey i'm not joking no i weak i just said and say ha see now this god created that place he, i mean that nature just form hell ha okay this hell our youth just mention anyhow from their mouth get this cd and go and divine it for them let them know what it means so because they see hell as just uh, leave a place and go to another place it's like a city to them or another land though they don't know what that place mean no divine it to them oh guinea i don't yeah but it's already in the corner they say if i say now don't leave me ha and they say they will shoot me and you and eh, can you say share now only me ordinary shoot oh. in fact the 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 fastest and easiest death now gone just tell the person may you put down for your heart just say pow you know go wait to feel the pain because now rush rush your spirit will come up Pew. is the smallest one person way fire burn him he cry in pains of fire and let me now tell you those people that fire kill by the time they fall they cannot stand up again they never die immediately some one hour is still breathing the most painful death most painful death as terrible as it is on earth imagine eternity in hell a city with no drop of water a city with no drop of water no rain no river no ocean a city with no drop of water that man jesus guy was telling was talking telling about the story he said please a drop of water not that the demon are wicked they don't want to give him they did not even have for themselves talkless of giving someone a land of taste hmm. a city with no drop of water number seven a city with no respect for age a city with no respect for age is too small to go to hell is too old to go to hell a city with no respect of age too old too young are available eight a city with no rest a city with no rest wait 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on i want to feel, i'm feeling dizzy <laughs> that's nothing like that a city with no rest nine
a city where no man, no man laugh but only demons a city where no man laugh but only demon you don't like a boring church this pastor is too boring when he's ministering nobody can laugh he's too boring don't worry the place that is boring than that church is waiting in hell no man laugh only demon roar <laughs> only demon roar a city where no man laugh only demon roar no naturally if i want to think about it all this one i will not even my thought will not go there but the angel was telling me one by one one by one and it's true even i've seen someone in the hospital undergoing serious pains they want to cut the leg but when somebody talk you know he's undergoing the pain so he will say it's okay don't leave me i can't laugh ah. <laughs> there's something like that in hell you cannot even manage to laugh because the pains the agony will be too much you will not even remember how laugh is you that normally make jests of pressure that pastor this is how his coat always be eh? <laughs> wait and see hmm hmm number a city of dark a city of darkness with ocean of fire a city of darkness with ocean of fire eleven a city where no man commits sin anymore a city where no man commits sin anymore is that true answer me the way the uh, the angel told me me i just explained the way you pronounce it he say a city of sinner without sin that's how he told me say a city of sinner without sin and i said what do you mean he said a city where no man commits sin anymore ah because he say a city of sinner without sin ah he said yes he said it's a place where no man commits sin anymore. Tell me, Shane, a beer you won't drink there. I've been a fornication, you won't start there. How will you do it? I've been a lie, you won't lie again. If you won't fight, who you won't fight? Everything is fighting you already, so you don't need to fight. You won't backbite. Backbite who? Where your home, bear your body. A city where no man sin anymore ha. I was writing my hand was shaking number eh? a city where everyone repents but no forgiveness a city where everyone repents but no answer me do you know what i mean by repent everybody will realize the truth they will regret and forsake but no forgiveness there's still forgiveness here we are telling you you are finding it difficult but in that place 
no preacher, no sermon, no lecture. There's going to be repentance. There's going to be regret. Everybody will forsake their sin, but there will be no forgiveness. Hmm. Did you doubt any of this thing I'm talking about? Did you doubt any of it? If you like doubt now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Number 13, right? A city of no help. A city of no help. Help. I say, yeah, I know now, no help. And I say, no, I'm not talking about help from God. <laughs> My daddy don't go. I'm only five years old. Daddy, help me, see me. <laughs> My husband has come. He can never, he can never sit, be able to see me cry. My husband has come. Honey, come, come and lose this chain. It's too hot. A city of no help. Everyone will remain helpless till eternity. Excuse me. The pains, the fire, the torture, the punishment. Now one side. The thing that fear me most is that statement, eternity. How do you feel? Do you know the meaning of eternity? I will punish you for one thousand years. You don't go hand. But when they say eternity, that's the worst. It, how can it be eternity? That is why it's better not to go near at all. When you find yourself there, that is all. Don't go near at all. When you find yourself there, that is all. It's over. If we need to beg ourselves, let's beg ourselves. This hell, hell, hell that these children turn to slang go to hell. And the worst part they say, see you in hell. Ah ah. And your own bunny. Ah. I was slang go in internet, but you face YouTube, Facebook go go in here. See you in hell. Go to hell. Eh? To hell with you. Ah. Eh, we are here how can somebody tell you to hell with you? Ordinary, even simply, simply, a bad bro to hell with you. Even husband and children and, and wife to hell with you. Ah, ah. That thing you just say, do you think it's a joke? Okay. Please go home, sit your children down. Divine, that's that name, that statement H-E double hell hell divine into them, don't joke so that if God wants to judge the children of Eli as he judged their father with them he will not, your own will not be like that even the one that feel arrogant the one that feel too big in fact book departments I want you to write this as tracts and share it to people Write it out as a chart. Book department, don't forget. Ha! I know hellfire is bad, but me, I never divine until this level. Like this before. Number. Hmm. A city where love never exists. A city where love never exist i say not true he said for me don't say not true you never understand what i mean i say yeah tell me what you may say a city if you die because of love when you get there you will not remember what love is and the person you die for if you now come back there to meet him you won't be able to love him again say no worry I will die. I will wait for you. Come back and meet me. Ah. Oh, see, they know money. When you see the person you die for in hell, you won't recognize him. It's a city where love 
never exist. He even told me is one of the ancient land. Don't let me go far. I'm talking to children. Don't let me talk. I'm, uh, don't let me go deep. It's a level in Lake Bay, the mass of me. Because it comes to a level. Because the angel told me some mystery. If me myself can be asking questions, no, 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 let you hear me. Then if I tell you what will happen to your brain, so don't let me go there. Let me just talk to you in your level. Say, city where love never exists. Hmm. Number. A city where wealth and riches never exist. You die for money. This poverty is too much. I'd rather die. Maybe when you die, things will be better. They say wealth and riches is not there. So if you die for poverty, yeah. Now the grandpa na in the day. So you better don't die because of poverty. Stand it. Win it. Maybe you will escape. <laughs> okay. Oh. A city where wealth and riches never exist. Number A city of internal fasting but no prayer. A city of internal fasting, but no prayer. Because who do they pray to? Because God will be. God why be? You know, you know reach hellfire. God network no reach hellfire. If every billions of so, trillions of so in hell shout at once their noise cannot reach heaven. Because <laughs> uh, there's no food there. So it is sure they will fast. Do you understand what I mean now? Where there's no water, where there's no food, what is that? Fasting. But no prayer. Because even though they pray, nobody will answer. Because both the demon that will be torturing people, they too, they are in pain. So, it's a city of fasting, but no prayer. <laughs> Nobody, they break their fasting. So, sister, you will go into seven days fasting. Ah, they want to kill me. Don't worry. Don't die now. You will soon die. Ha! Ah, your fasting is 17 days. Ah! Go to the hospital. It's not good for health. It's not good for health. 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 Abby. When they go health for your health, it's not going to follow you. Because that body where they say health, you don't, you don't die here. Healthy call. Healthy. Your apart get health, now you make and go health for you. Number. Hmm. He see, this one he told me maybe he's saying it according to maybe he just gave me a response of what I'm thinking because when I can't reach this level now I can't think some things in my mind maybe the angel see it that's why he gave me this response a city of no mercy now I can't look in face he say yes do you know why I say where I was, what I'm thinking? I say, uh, after all, some people say they die. They go to hell. And they wake up and come back. Not that revelation. Some people say they see revelation. Abby, but these people die. They go to hell. After two days, they revive again in hospital. Abby, she they hear the news. I can't say, ah. Uh, you say, a place of no exit. A place of no this. A, not be people, they die, go to hell, come back. After all, God showed them mercy. Mercy reign over judgment. I'm, I'm talking about this last week. A whole preacher like me. Now, I mean, they think like that. Because the fear has gripped me 
to the level that you know you know there's a demon that will be comforting you inside you you know there's a demon like that they're going to comfort you inside you so that demon can't they comfort me say ah, ah it's a merciful god now the bible says mercy reign over judgment happy if he can still bring some people out of hell to come and preach gospel he can see he can still if somebody go there when god see your good work mercy can still bring you out the next thing just tell me right a city of no mercy now look up say yes no mercy he said that thing you think is the one that killed them take them there for that purpose and bring them back when they die again they never return now my body can come down you may say how can a whole mommy think nonsense it is you that know how to hide your heart. Me and they hide my heart when it comes to truth. That's where I think. You to know if you think I'm. Eh? Ah. Maybe you are not afraid. Though. Angel was telling me, me, I'm afraid. Though. I'm seriously afraid. Though. Fear grip me. Only people come out, come out of my body. Ah. Ah. Not that I did not know. But the horror of that hell frightened me again. You know, at times something you know, if you don't go back, that's why church need retreats. If you don't go back to hear it again and again, the understanding, the fear, the tension might go off you. Is that not so? I will not go to hell fire. <sighs> number eh? a city of no debt a city of no debt and I started thinking then go die then go die now you say because that's a place of final death even the spirit of death will be cast into the lake then you know it is then you now open the book of revelation chapter 20 you say i should read from verse 7 shall we read revelation 27 you say when the thousand years are over satan will be released from his prison and we go out to deceive the nation in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog together to gather them for battle. You remember I told you anywhere there's battle, there will be Gog and mm -hmm. in my testimony, there are those two names are there. They are all for battle. You see, of the earth, Gog and Magog to gather them for battle. In the numbers, they are like the sand on the seashore. Nine, they march across the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God, of God's people. Where is that? Israel. The place they will fight the battle of Armageddon. The last time I went to Israel, they showed me that place. That place still there, the grass is there. You know, even. You know, grow rich this thing. In fact, you can see that place is just too big. No grass they grow there. No, nothing. They say that's the place the battle of Amagadon will take place. The old world soldier will gather against Israelites there. That's what I'm saying. I'm reading here. You see, they march across the, bre the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people the city he loved but fire come down from heaven and before them verse 10 and the devil who deceived them was thrown in the lake of burning sulfur where the beast and the first prophet has been thrown they will be torment day and night forever and ever did you hear that? They will be torment day and night forever and ever. Now you now talk about death. He said, Then 
I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it earth and sky flee from his presence a great white throne listen you know who was seated on it was so fearful to extend earth fleet he was so terrified to extend the earth was rolling the sky was melting before him because of his terror and he's so fearful then if earth can run sky can melt who born your papa to stand before him did you know what I'm saying who is your father that will stand before I will have you alone I don't know who did it eh kotide although you know one treble when the ground where you stand don't tremble you too go tremble because he say mogbadura the spirit that is preparing you for air fire shall lose you in the name of Jesus do you know the activities of that spirit when you hear this fearful message you will conclude in your heart ah now wow this is terrible but God now you go help me help me oh it's the sign of destruction Mm -mm. if he's the one that will help you he will have helped those trillions of souls in hell the only help he will give you is what he's sending me to give you if there's another method of help then what is the meaning of summer did you get me if there's another way to help why send the message hey he will only help you when you decide to help yourself but other people will say ah we did someone whatever that will happen let it happen no. this lie i will not lie again this my prophet we will not stop again and today i know they fornicate again so the people that take decision that decision they make is help already but the demon in you that make decision to be difficult is the one i'm praying against now that's why i say the spirit the demon preparing you for hell that make it to be too difficult to make a very small correction so difficult i want to ask a question if if not you if someone have a son that is a rapist he don't go to prison yard four times he love raping small girls you don't go bail him several times you have been giving this boy warning he started raping from age 15 now he's age 45 after 30 years of warning you now disown him as your child because you are a big man this disgrace is too much for you. News carries off every day. The son of Chief so, 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 so is going to prison for raping. So news has carried it for more than 10 times that your firstborn is going to prison. To save your name, you now, you now disown him. You, you say nobody should call him by your name. Is that good? Nobody is talking. Is that good? No, say and if you know your answer, raise up your hand. May we see your face, may we talk. Is it good for a man to do that to his son or not? Who said no? Who said no now? Eh, low calling. Tell about low calling. Say yes or yes. Eh, they say. Eh, they deny. Eh, they reject you, woman. Eh, low look on it. Tell about low look on my reject you. Ah, and it's your Noruko Tom Moruko Eniboro, Lole Faradao. If you have name and your name is appear on the newspaper every day, 
Ah, iru amo yen yen ko o. Ibe ko ko so bi ta roko fe nu leyen mo. I to doku ni oni raya fe leyen mo olore oni wa be mo. Omo ijire la gbaja lo se won lo joju mo. O ma nko wo mo be ni. Ah. Because no no female in that house we have good husband again. No male can have ma wife again. No good person we enter that family because the newspaper carry it all the time the first son of that family go to prison every four four years for rapings anybody selling in that family he said no go the assure boy then go rape you you don't go deny that son answer me ah. now nah, lie in fact before you go reach 10 times you don't take decision before you go reach 10 times you don't take decision ah. i mo yo mo ti case won wo si to yen ton ma no ka si le baba won ba ton to be wo se ri won gboro ni some people they all know what's like that then go the pass say now my papa get that house say you dey chris i said my father house where we are fighting i can't enter there are many boys like that in the street they can't enter because their father has the nine was there my dear, if God sent man to hell, a man that died at the age of 70, if God begged you for 70 years, you did not repent, and you now grow anger after 70 years, he sent you to hell fire. Is God wicked? Because I need the 70 years. People are there in hell, just three years warning, they are in hell. If somebody that know the truth under three years die and go to hell, if you know truth for 30 years, for 40 years, for 20 years, for 15 years, and you die, you go to hell. God is good. He said, I'm reading verse 11, Revelation 20, verse 11. I'm still coming back to the other quote. He said, Then I saw the great white throne, and him who was seated on it, head and sky flew in his presence, and there was no place for them. Imagine. The terror is too much. Verse 12. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books, books were open. <laughs> Another book was open, which is the book of life. The dead we are judged according to the to what they have done on and as recorded in the books the sea gave up the dead that were in it and dead and ages gave up the dead that were in them and each person was judged according to what he has done verse 14 then death and eight were thrown into the lake of fire. Now that one surprised me. So, if somebody said, Now nah, this man kill him, in that process, the spirit called death is there. Death himself were thrown into the lake of fire. So, death is a personality. Death himself is a personality. When he visits someone, he can stay with that person for seven days, even seven months. So when that spirit of death visits someone, that's why revelation will be coming. Ha! Ah, sister pray, oh, death. Brother pray, oh, death. Hey, can you pray, oh, death. The spirit has been following him. He can follow someone for three months before killing. He can follow someone for seven months before killing. He can follow someone for... Uh, 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 seven days some people a second you just pick them Pyam. especially I want to quick why to job he take the one to power because he should cool to you when you could need I can I want to change I don't have follow and don't follow up praise the Lord hmm hey <laughs> he say the dead and the Hades will be thrown into the lake of fire. What's the meaning of lake? 
Eh? Adagwomi. At, mm -mm. Lake. I did not put fire now. There must be liquid here, Abi. Liquid. So this one is not a lake of water now. It's a lake of fire. When they say lake, that means liquid. Liquid. Maybe if a firefighter, you are working in fire kinekon, they will train you. When you want to enter fire, cover yourself with blankets. Abi. But this one are liquid. So blanket self you go so calm. So no way to fight it. Please. Let's fight hell. It's too horrible. And the fearful thing is that the man that will judge, the person that will sit on the throne, is so fearful to extend. Sky melts. Evil health flee away from him. He let Kadano. Oh, Furufu Yodano. One let Droni Wadi Pinwe. Connect the bear. He will show no mercy. Konik bebe e dwe jasa. Has anyone ever offend you and you say I will never forgive? My dear, that day you will forgive ten thousand of that person, but yet no correction. There's nothing on earth. That is good enough or strong or great enough to take you to hell. Nothing. Number hmm. a city of sickness but no abs. A city of sickness but no up no remedy will headache over there answer will body pains get over there it will never come to an end but no apps no remedy no healing no treatment a city of sickness with no apps listen to this one number you see the most largest city so far the most largest city so far after heaven now hell big again is the most largest city because everyone that exits from this earth 99% of them are going to hell so imagine how large that place will be. But as big as that place, you will not look for somebody in two minutes before you see that person. Ah, no go slow, no odor. Movement is like magic. Ha! Huh? It's cooler in hell. He will just stand before you. So you will not need to be looking for him before you find him. The most largest city so far that increases every second with no reproduction. I repeat. The largest city so far that increases every second with no reproduction will any city on earth increase with without reproduction answer me but air fire increase every second with no reproduction <laughs> if not be angel where they refill this thing to me how will i think so deep like this <laughs> Number 20. 
a city with the most powerful security where no man has never gone missing did you hear that a city with the most powerful security where no man has never gone missing but what the was on one year a war ha you say me they don't know they bury a city with the most powerful security where no man has ever gone missing go say it also no mary nobody will be present sunny ha number a city where there is no calendar no new year a city where there is no calendar no new year ready a city of no hope what do i say a city where all man will transform to demon when fire bomb person for for 1000 years you know go down to demon answer me now say a city where all man shall turn to demon can you doubt it if fire bomb person for one month self he hide everything will change everybody will transform to demon that is it at least all those demon before they fall they are angel is after they are falling they turn to demon when man also go to hell what would they turn to demon every human will transform to demon 24 point he gave to me he said divine hell Hey, do you know how many fire you cast on demon on earth? When he said that, the last one I say, Ha! Ah. He said, Yes, a city where all men will transform to demon. Not be true. If fire burn somebody, wait me 1,000, even three days, he would turn to demon. The look will change. The voice will change. Everything will change. Why must any man beg you before you know that you should not go there? Why must any man beg you? Why must you do anything that will take you there? Excuse me. Must somebody beg you? Who want to go to prison and be locked up there? Raise up your hand. Even though you know talk, I know you don't want to go to free prison. There are some people that harass you. You remember that? <laughs> they harass you. Your anger come as if, if not because government will arrive, arrest me, I will just stab you. Is that not so? Many people have feel like that before. If not because of government, I will just be like, ah, ah. you did not stab him because go to prison abbey but lie that can take you to hell you are not afraid person go prison you can still come back hope still day at least 50 percent hope even people they condemn to death some president can come and say i release them somebody in prison there is still hope but we are talking about hell no exit no hope you know somebody that cheats you somebody that deserves death with what he did to you because you don't want to go to prison you don't do it but we say lie will take you to hell and you are not afraid my dear for me as divine hell to you today The topic of my message to say today say divination of hell. 
divination of hell. Ori ki oru apadi. Moti ki ori ki oru apadi for anything. Oti ma. Omoru koti yati ba barege. So if you know you can stand it, go ahead. If you know you can bear it, go ahead. That is definition of hell. The place we are you against, the place we are begging you not to go, because other others go there. Must you go? Ha! If you come late, you are not here when we start reading the definition. Raise up your hand. They not talk. I know they read again. Don't worry. I thought I should read it once again. No problem. Let's change my paper. Let's change. If you have the grace to understand and to know the truth of hell, the horror of hell, and you still find yourself there. There's only two things. I know you can take man to hell after the full knowledge of the truth. Shall I tell you? Cause and covenant. What do I say? Cause and covenant. Some people God has release anger on their lineage they will not make heaven even though he know the truth he preach the truth even though he practice the truth if he remains more make it die he will fall because he is destined for it but you have opportunity to fight it so even though you are being caused by God you can still fight it Abi, Judas is destined to betray Jesus and no Peter but you fight it and the thing shifts to Judas only that one quotation is enough for you to fight it if you are ready the second one is covenant which your wicked grandfather the betrayer ones that do not serve God they, they, maybe they are king a warrior a this a that they want to go to war or they want to you know they want to do something they now go to see or they face any of the uh, fallen angel they visit them they say if you can do this for us or for me i sell all the soul of my generation to you and that person is a personality from hell and the soul of the generations has been sell to that personality so no matter how they do it they must end back in hell so any child that did not believe in deliverance hey they need new touch of god because deliverance is needed though i've seen somebody speaking in tongues and demons still come to have sex with him in the dream Oh, honey, eh, after that person sleep with me, as that person stand up, they go. And that's why I'm speaking in tongues. <laughs> Please, my people. Hell is not your place. I'm not praying. I'm telling you to fight it. Fight it with all your strength. If, is, if, if this battle will bring about shame on you here, if this battle will cause you to be homeless, to be jobless, and beg for food, my dear, manage it. If any man say, I will do anything to make it in life, that's a slang of hell. It's not anything to make it in life. It's anything to make, to, to go to hell. That's the meaning. How can you do anything to make it in life? Which life? 
excuse me how old is this health now the answer how old is this health guess 10 million 2 million eh okay let's say the earth is up to 1000 years out of 1000 how many years you will spend here you will spend just your miserable useless 70 80 years and they say 1000 you never use half of that 1000 you will still go to internal dam when you say my life my life this your 80 years is not life look your body will disgrace you your wit your wisdom will disgrace you your strength will disgrace you everything you gather will, will make you to cry because everyone around you when you never die even your children you labor for we use it in the way that will make you cry so if you fail to die in the right time you're supposed to die in fact death will start emo Kona your age is drawing me closer that's going to visit you going to go going to visit you going to go but if i don't know so tell me whatever you do to make it in life is too short because that thing you call life is damn too short to waste your eternity for that miserable short period of yours is too short to lose heaven is too short to go to hell even though you spend 1000 years on earth a day in hell fire will delete it away from your head look eternity will be longer than the age of his health. That thing called eternity is longer than what any man on earth can count. It's just as if they go to see Saul, Ethiopian. They now say, See all this sand here. Pick one of it. This is how you spend each of this sand is one year in hell. And until you are true with the number of this sand in hell before you come out what does that mean do you know the depth of the sand <laughs> talk less please let me beg you and me to fight hell if what you are fighting today is death, you are a fool. If any prophet pray for you and you overcome death now, it's either you die first or the prophet too will die. Then later that death will come back for you with no battle again. Easily. Every victory over death is only for a short time. I'm begging you. The gravity of hell is horror. And that person sitting on the throne that we see now thought you will understand. Is it not the person Bible is describing that grand land run away from him? Excuse me. The person you thought that when you die, by the time he see you, you go pity. The person that grant they run for, the sky meant for. How will he show pity to you? 
stand on your feet eni ti o furufu to yo ni waju re bawo lo se fe sha anu and he's going to judge according to the record before him and who is the writer and the custodian of the record the person is here who is that person your shadow he write day and night when you are lonely when you are in the midst of the crowd body language what you think everything about you before you lie he know about it when you are angry and hide it under smile he know about it when you pretend and when you are serious he know about it he will never write error about you when a demon enter you he know about it when you are when you are not controlled by any demon you are in your right sense he know about it this writer will never write error it is his report that will bring about your judgment when you come out i say i'm surrender i surrender the writer know what remain in you that you never surrender the writer will not write according to what you just say he will write according to what you really meant let us pray God deliver me from the spell of hell did you hear that spell of hell let me say the truth many of us have already commit sin that is taking us to hell already no negotiation the only thing that can change it is restitution and that restitution we are not ready to do it we are justifying ourselves every day pray this prayer god do what spell of hell deliver me from it because it must be spell when you know what can take you to hell and you cannot stop doing it is that normal answer now deliver me from the spell of hell either from you or from an earth for earth. deliver me up in your mouth and pray in Jesus Christ mighty name we pray Amen. I want to ask a question all this all this divination of hell I just read unto you if you are here it's not new to you you know it before i only remind you raise up your hand i want to know please you know it now raise it i want to know how many of you uh, eh? even though not 10 you know raise up your hand 10 you know up to 10 you know how terrible it is and you can still lie that is spell somebody that never know let's believe maybe you know no if you know just tell especially a statement no exit if only that one alone you know that number one no exit a city of no exit if that is the only one you know this you know this um those uh, those things I read for you I never mentioned about how hot is the fire have I mentioned how hot it is he only told me 24 of it he never gave me the divination of the you know of the fire and the other torture that go around it how they will put hot iron into someone's mouth that will come out from his anus. I never mentioned that one. 
how my God will be eating someone from inside who coming out from his eyes is note in in nose in air fire I never mentioned the aura of the pace I'm just talking about the constitution of the place only 24 I mentioned if you know only 10 of it and you can still lie fight hate people hey no you are under spell it's a spell it's not normal you can never be a human being and know it and still walking towards it let us pray we are going to pray god i don't know how you help others to make heaven god in your mercy do whatever that make you god just to save me from hell hey look here think before you pray this prayer if god is going to do whatever he make him god to snatch him from snatch you from hell and if you are going to hell because of children do you know what you will do you kill them if it is your work that will take you to hell if you say this prayer and you want to answer you you may lose that work think before you pray because the prayer point say whatever that make him god you should use it to save you from hell are you ready open your mouth and pray jesus christ mighty name we pray Amen. i saw one man along ikire ikire road along ife express this man is working with stick he seemed fire has born half of his body he looked like a beggar because the cloth is tattered and he's walking under the unseen sun and I was told that he's trekking to Ibadan I said why? he said because there's no money to enter moto I said but what is he going to do in Ibadan? he said he's going there to preach did you hear me? elderly man walking with stick the skin you know is not normal his in fire has burned it before he's ill and he's trekking how can somebody be trekking from a kiri to Ibadan if you are in the car it's not foul like how many minutes from a kiri to Ibadan eh within 30 minutes you will be there 20 minutes papa abi but on that sun somebody trekking to ibadan i don't know which time he go reach there they say he won't go preach ah a ruba me if a man in that condition track with leg to ibadan then you want to go and preach 20 minutes drive with high speed to go and preach only to escape hell and i'm in my ac i'm still misbehaving you can see in that bus now you do like this are we dealing with the same god are we going to the same heaven in Gansewa? let us pray god whatever i need to lose to make heaven let me lose them now i'm not forcing you to pray think before you pray whatever i need to lose only to make heaven let me lose it now but i don't want to lose my life whatever i need to lose to make heaven take it now open your mouth and pray lastly pray this prayer
don't give me chance to choose anymore did you hear me don't give me chance to choose each time you give me chance i always choose nonsense is that not so my choice is always evil when you want to save Saul, you don't give him chance to repent does he give him chance he save him by force if you can do it on Saul and nobody challenge you repeat it on me now am i afraid i will miss it choose for me by yourself force me to make it is that a prayer point force me to open your mouth and pray jesus christ mighty name will pray everybody go on your nails There are trillions of souls in hell. All they keep on repeating is, I die no. Everything they, we know is what they say, I die no. If they are in hell, they deserve it. But we that we know, our case is worst because they did not know they will have escaped. But we know it all. Why must we go there? Everything making us to journey closer to hell. A spell, a cause, a covenant. God, leave it away. Lift it away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spell, cause covenant that is working our brain our thinking our feeling our emotion our passion closer to hell everything that I need to do with god is very difficult when come to sin we like it so much we say let it go on goes on let it keep on rolling we clap we hail it but when come to god it's boring it's painful it's difficult it's a spirit of hell Lord, separate them from us in Jesus' name. Amen. The spirit of hell that walk with the power of cause and spell, depart in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, when the sun set us free, we are free indeed. But we are so surprised that after several wisdom and freedom we are not free we've been set free severally but freedom is not given god help our soul Amen. help our soul Divide, deliver us in the name of jesus Amen. we take decision every day but we cannot stand by it we even sing it as a song i have decided to follow jesus we did not follow. We did not follow. We only visit Jesus. We visit his house to collect free meal, free gift. But we did not follow. Our attitude did not follow. Our behavior did not follow. Our feelings did not follow. Our passion did not follow. God, deliver us from the spell of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Iwa egun ati epe, oro egun ati epe, ero egun ati epe, mukuro laye wa o baba. Iwa egun ati epe, oro egun ati epe, ero ka egun ati epe. Mukuro la yewa o baba. Attitude of hell, behavior of hell, feelings of hell, passion of hell. Take it away from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! If we mistakenly land in hell. We will regret our tithe in the church. 
We will regret our time we spend in the church. We will regret our fasting and prayer because it will only be called waste. For our effort, our labor and service not to be waste. Help us and deliver us today in Jesus name. But nobody, but nobody, Maybe I will need to divine heaven too. So that we know where to choose. Even though we love heaven with passion. Everyone in hell now, they love heaven with passion. This is how they cry in the church. And they still end up in hell. Only you can help. This prayer will not be made in hell. Oh. Answer will not come in hell. Oh. Salvation will not come in hell. Oh. Even though so we go to hell, can't you just save us? Oh Lord, save our soul. If not long life go take us to hell, can't you take us away now? What is long about this hell? The long one is after death now. Whatever you will do for us to escape hell do it do it do it if the bible say one man is good now you dead hell it is your your help this is only thing we need now when you help, we will make it. When you help, we will do it. Help us. No help in hell. Now, yes, help. Help us. Hey, hey, hey. The game of Pharaoh, we don't want it. You send one and you stone his heart. You did it. We don't want it. You sent Jonah to the name for warning. Jonah refused to tell them. You force him because the warning is for mercy. It's not for judgment. This is a warning today. Let it be for mercy. There's two sides of warning. The day you give me the lecture, you say, I gave two sides of warning. I gave warning to judgment and I gave warning to mercy that's the day you gave me the two sample he said I gave warning to Pharaoh for judgment I gave warning to Nineveh for mercy let your warning today be of mercy Amen. let it be of mercy Amen. let it be of mercy Shanu 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 Shanu, have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. 